Hi, this is Kevin with Reef Geek Marine. I'm known as the Reef Geek. This is our video number 33. I'm uh, trying to show you a little bit of what we do. This is our 300 gallon Fowler tank. Some of our fish you'll see. And Fowler is a fish only with live rock. Uh, there's no coral in here. There's only one invertebrate that lives in here right now. That's our green uh, brittle star. He's mean enough to tell all these fish to take a hike. Uh, quite a few fish that are gaining some size. Here's Corky, our 12 inch porcupine puffer. And it's about our 7.5 to 8 inch Spanish hogfish. And peeking through the hole here is about our 8 inch clown triggerfish. Named him Bubbles because he's unique in his spots. And peeking over is Desi, our Des Jardini self in. She's about eight inches herself, and in the background is our uh, red breasted Maori wrasse. We have a lot of wrasses. purple tank down here. Many of the fish in this Fowler tank is what is considered reef safe. Uh, but there's many fish in here that are not. All the tangs are reef safe. Uh, but there's many fish that are not. They'll tear apart your invertebrate population. Many, here's a blue-headed wrasse. Very pretty but not reef safe. This is Goldie, our forktail rabbit fish. She is reef safe. She's about ten and a half inches long. She's very beautiful in color. Right now she's showing us olive green with eyes that glow green. Through the hole there's our annular angel fish. There's our Niger trigger sitting there watching the whole action. There's Ringer, our Macula Seps Tang. He's about nine inches long. Very valuable fish, uh, but we're not in it for the money. We just love him. We've had him for almost three years now. And here's Lucky, our Unicorn rescue. Tang. She's a rescue. Had no tail when we first got her. And going over here, there's our 100 gallon reef. And then I say reef, there's many invertebrates and corals and things that couldn't live in the other tank. Uh, let me get down here and show you a little bit of what we got. Brain. Beautiful brain. Thanks, Ming Hoi. I brought it back. A big blue link here just hanging in there. Some coral polyps. Crater polyps, actually, they're called. the hippo hiding down there. That's his bed. Our green open brain here looks really really good. Some pipe organ. Beautiful sirena and a cucumber up there behind her. Can you show inside that ocean in Australia? Flame hawk hiding back there. Nice torches. Oh, he goes hiding when I go looking. There's a nice open brain here. Nice and purpley color. The pin is nice to me. There's our C pin. He tends to hide.
This is a this is our hundred gallon coral reef. And by the way, just so people who know, those pipes on the wall back there, they go to the sump and the 300 gallon and the 100 gallon reef, they all share the same water. There's Corey, our twin spot chorus. He's about nine and a half inches right now. I'm anxiously waiting for him to start turning to adult coloration. When I first got him, he was about two and a half inches long, little tiny guy. But he's beautiful now. Puppy babies in the background. Yeah, I hear the puppies. Yeah. Behind me here. Turn a little bit. A little 29 gallon. This is what you'd consider a little 29 gallon reef. Doesn't have any hard corals, it's got mushrooms. Uh, a few big mushrooms, a real big, big green spaghetti leather. Got a purple headed wrasse, that's a mono. A blue goby. A royal dotty back. And then up top here in the corner, there's our bee. Longhorn cowfish. He's waiting for a meal. That's our little display about it. Yeah. And this is Kevin at Reef Geek Marine. Thanks for watching.